When I heard it for the first time, I was like, Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and in today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the newly launched Realme Buds Wireless. Let's see if these are worth the price tag or they are just the hype. So before getting to the video, if you want to find the best deals on these earphones, you can head to the first link down below in the description. Recently, Realme had an event where they dropped a ton of products. I wasn't so into Realme, but recently after looking at the comments, I realized how many of you are into this brand. So I started reviewing the Realme products. Like I tested the Realme Powerbank 2, Burt's Air, Neo, Burt's Wireless, first generation. All were very good products, but I don't know why I have this feeling that these new products would be way better than what I've tested so far. First of all, I want to specify the price so we all can judge or justify it with what we are getting. So for the price, we are looking at the figure of 2,300 rupees. Getting that out of the way, let's do a quick unboxing to see what's inside the box. So here's the shipping package. This is from Flipkart this time, but we are not interested in that. We are interested in what's inside. So here's the retail box itself. Looks very neat. By the way, there is a plastic sheet wrapped on this. I know you didn't notice, but hey, let's remove it. Now, now it's tidy. So let's skip all the readings of the box and take out the earphones. Don't worry, we will talk about all this in a minute. We don't need this. Here are the Realme Buds Wireless 2. I should stop saying the full name. Okay, so here are the Buds Wireless 2 sitting nicely inside the package. Let's take it out. By the way, if you didn't notice, I'm also wearing the Realme Watch 2. So if you want to see the full review, here it is. Anyways, let's put this aside and see what else do we have in here. We have a few items at the bottom. Let's take all of them out. This is useless now. So we get extra ear tips for elephants, monkeys and mice. Next we get a tiny ass USB cable and last but not the least we get a worthless user manual. They should stop wasting paper and share a QR code for the PDF. Haha, <laughs> and they call themselves a tech company. Jokes apart. So that was it for the unboxing and now let's move to the review of these earphones. Design and build quality. Starting with the design, these are like typical neckband earphones, nothing too special about that. But I do want to say that these are improved version from the previous generation Burt's Wireless. As a matter of fact, these are better than all the other neckband earphones in the terms of material choices. The rubber on the neckband is very soft, it doesn't irritate you and very flexible which you can fold and put it in your pocket. As far as I remember, OnePlus Bullets Z and the OPPO M31 had this good rubber but this feel even better than that. Now there are these modules at the end which are made out of plastic but not a big deal. Then we have all the controllers on the right side which by the way are convenient enough to use. So overall design and build wise I want to say that they are fantastic. One thing you guys should know is that I never had any problem with these tech products so I never had to deal with Realme customer care. But today my friend told me that they have horrible customer care service. She had Realme Buds Wireless 1. It was replaced three times in a row and still the problem persists. Which was the one bird was working and the second one was not. I don't know if her luck was so bad or what, but let's see how long these earphones would last. I will let you know if anything happens in the community post. Comfort and fitting. Moving to one of the most crucial part of any earphone, the comfort and fitting. So in terms of that, Buds Wireless 2 are amazing. I always say that silicone ear tips are good in all these reviews. I mean these ones are the best silicone ear tips I've ever tried. They are very soft and comfy. I can wear them all day long. And from the fitting standpoint, these are secure fit earphones. You can use it for light running and workouts. But once you get a bit aggressive, they will definitely come out. And this is normal. You cannot expect a tight fit without the ear hooks. Maybe they could provide some removable ones. I don't know, but in day-to-day -day use, you won't face any fitting problem. Features. Now there are tons of features loaded in this small packet. I will try to cover all of them without wasting much of your time. First of all, we get the magnetic birds, pretty standard, which turns on and off when you separate them from each other. This will also pause the playback, but it won't play it. Next, to increase the durability, we get IPX5 water rating, sweat and water splashes covered. This one is huge, we get no active noise cancellation, and believe me guys, it's awesome. It works very well, I mean, you will dive deep into the music. I've used this feature with the fan and AC on. I wasn't getting much sound from it, that's what I thought. But when I removed the earbuds, I was like, what a noisy world we live in. 
Dissecting noise cancellation is cool. Now if you don't want that, why would you? But if you do, then you can turn that to normal or transparent mode from the Realme Link app or pressing the noise cancellation button. Talking about the Realme Link app, you can connect it to and adjust the setting like what the buttons do or update the firmware. Like you can see in this update, we have support for the iOS Realme Link app. For pairing, we get Google Fast Pair. So when connecting it for the first time, as soon as you turn it on, you will get a pairing notification and the next time it will connect automatically. One more bundled feature with Bluetooth is multiple device connectivity. So if you double press the noise cancellation button, it will switch to the previous device. And the last feature is, I saved the best one for the last. On the Buds Wireless 2, we get Sony Hi-Res Audio and LDAC support. Basically what Hi-Res Audio is, the audio quality greater than 44 kilohertz. They haven't specified, but generally it's 96 kilohertz. Second, LDAC is playing audio on a higher data rate that is above 320 kilobits per second. On LDAC, you will get 990 kbps, but to enjoy that, you will have to either play FLAC files or you will need a service like Amazon HD, which supports LDAC playback. LDAC playback is not so common. Maybe it will become standard in the future, but not for now. So I think you shouldn't pay much attention on these terms. One feature that I forgot to mention is the gaming mode or the low latency mode. So here on the buds, we get that as well, which really claims it to go as low as 88 milliseconds. But you know, my mama told me not to trust anyone. So here we are testing it ourselves. Battery life. So here on the buds, we get 129 milliamp hour battery, which took me around one hour to charge it full. And once I was done, I got around 15.5 hours of playback with ANC on. And if you turn it off, I would get around two more hours of backup. One feature is also there, which is dark charging. So when I charge it for 10 minutes, I got around 10 hours and 20 minutes of playback. Now, a major thing here is that all the Realme battery claims are tested on 50% of volume levels but my results are at 100%, so that's why you see the difference. And that's the level at what you guys listen to, right? Not me, I'm in the 60s or 70s. So overall battery life is quite average. It's the only thing about this earphone that I don't like so much. Inline mic. Talking about the inline controls, we get the volume up and down, a multifunction button and a noise cancellation button. And they all work as standard buttons to take calls, change tracks and change ANC mode. But what is so cool is that you can go to the Realme Link app and set these to whatever way you like. Now for making the inline mic pop, we have a noise cancellation mic, but taking ahead of the league of my mama, let's test it out. So this is the audio quality test of the inline mic on the Realme Buds Wireless 2 without the AC or fan turned on. Audio quality test. And this is the audio quality test of the Realme Buds Wireless 2 with the AC and fan turned on. Sound quality. When it comes to any audio device, sound quality is the most vital element. So here on the Realme, we get 13.6 millimeter driver, which I would like to say produces phenomenal sound quality. I mean, I've tried so many birds on the channel, but I haven't heard anything like this before. 
The sound quality is so good, especially with the ANC on. I have to be honest, my first expression was like, these earphones are like 2300 rupees. I couldn't believe it. I know I'm sounding like a salesman, but believe me, if you don't, it would be your loss. You will miss out on these. Now if I take a step forward to explain why this sound is so good. The first one is the ANC itself. It makes everything pleasurable. The second is that they have the ability to adjust the sound type. You can head to the Realme Link app and choose between dynamic, normal or bright mode, which makes it one size fit for all. If you like hip hop, then you can hop into the bass mode. And if you like the pop or acoustic, you can switch between the rest. And according to me, all the three modes sound fantastic and the sound is full, the bass is rich and the vocals are very clear. Also talking about the loudness, these are pretty loud as well. One thing you will notice is that when you switch it to the bass mode, it will decrease the volume a bit. And when you go to the bright, it will increase it a bit. I don't know why it is doing so, but it's there. So overall in terms of sound quality, I would say it's one of the best that I've tried so far. Price. Moving on to the price, which you already know, to say it again, it's 2300 rupees. Although I bought it on the launch day, so I got around it for 1800 rupees, which was a stellar deal. But even at the price tag of 2300 rupees, these are totally worth it. So if you're looking for the neckband earphones with tons of features, ANC and great sound quality, and maybe would bear with the battery life, then I would recommend this to you. Eyes closed. So that's been it for today, guys. If you want me to compare this with other earphones, please do let me know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.